Yo, what's up, guys? So, you know, waiting for the wipe. I kind of wanted to do a video on what we can expect after the wipe because, I mean, looking at the patch notes, you know, there's a lot, but there's still some gameplay features that aren't in those patch notes, which have been talked about a while ago, which I really want to talk about and show you guys because not a lot of people know about some of the features I'm going to be showing. Some of you might know and you'll be like, this is boring, but I hopefully some of you might not know just exactly what's coming. All this footage, by the way, is from Battle State Games' YouTube channel. There will be a link in the description to watch their amazing videos that they make, going to shooting ranges, stuff like that. Really good stuff. But I'm showing you these snipers because they're all chambered in 338 Lapua Magnum. Now, this is a comparison between 338 and 308, which is what we have in the game right now. But I'm showing you guys this to talk about the sniper because... Having that much bigger of a caliber for a sniper is a huge gameplay difference. Um, in the video, they were ta they were shooting it. They were recording the audio of the 338 in particular. And I just thought it was interesting because, you know, at the moment, snipers just aren't that strong at the moment. And you could say just buff 308, but it's like, if you buff 308, you're going to break the RSAS. So we need like a bolt action sniper that shoots a specific like really big bullet to do a lot of damage you know at the moment the only bolt action sniper rifles we have have a semi-automatic variant which are just as good they're better because they're semi-automatic and we're getting the svd which is the let's just call it the semi-automatic sv98 in short because they shoot the same bullet and it's like if you buff that specific bullet then you're gonna break those semi-automatic weapons and then they're gonna be way overpowered so i really hope we get this bolt action 338 uh, sooner than later to make sniping a bit more fun because it's kind of boring at the moment with how weak they are. A 338 round could really be the new counter for Ford Armor. And I guess this is just speculation, but I mean, they did record the sound of the 338 rifles, so I'd be really surprised if we didn't get this weapon. It'd be a complete waste of sound recording. Anyways, on to the rest of the video where we're going to be talking about gameplay features. Now, this might just look like a pistol, but it's actually an example of weapon degradation um the top weapon brand new bought straight from traders and the bottom one it has uh seen some shit so to say this is a cool little gameplay feature definitely not the bulk of what this video is going to be i just wanted to end the weapon segment with showing you guys this because it's pretty cool that the more you use a gun the worse it's going to look um and also talking about guns there are a ton of guns being added so i'm going to end the gun talk here hopefully um you know, guns like the Scar, etc. They're all planned. The 1911, pretty sure they're all planned. And by all of them, I mean there's going to be 300 guns in the game, so they got to fill it up somehow. And I would assume they would add more guns to do that. Now on to the actual video. And I put this in here because they left this in at the end of a dev blog, and as it was rolling, it had a radiation sound attached to it. And as it got closer, it, it, it made the radiation noise that like beep, 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 beep. And I think that was a hint towards radiation, maybe. Anyways, on to the looting. Now, he's in a filing cabinet here, but as you can see, it's like a, a display rendering of what it would be like if instead of just uh, that search menu, maybe we're actually going to have to like dig through stuff. I'm not sure. That, that'd be pretty cool. Definitely seems pretty intensive towards the optimization of things. And I personally wouldn't mind if we didn't get this feature to save performance, but... You know, things like this, like map interaction, really add to a game's environment, in my opinion. They have also showed off the ability to turn on a light switch, which I did in my last video covering the update. I showed you guys this, because I thought it was just freaking cool. And some of you guys were like, oh, you turned on a light switch. But it's like, what games have light switches? I, know, I think Battlefield has them, but they just, they're so cool. I love being able to press buttons and feel like the map's actually a real place rather than just a team deathmatch. I, li I, I like it if you know, I could like save power or, you know, if I want to run up the power bill, I'll turn on the power. You know what I mean? I mean, that's a joke, but just things like that make the game more fun, in my opinion. Opening up a gate door, that'd be cool with like a lever. That'd be awesome. But yeah, just rewinding that same clip. Um, he, he looted a dead player in this pre-alpha. This is all footage before the game came out, by the way. But as you can see, he finds a key and it's called a case key. Now, if we fast forward the clip, also, look, at see how his gun's on the ground? It's, it's, the gun has physics in this version of the game instead of it just, like, either being in his hands or, like, glued to his back. You know, that's what I'm sure a lot of you have seen. That was just cooler. But anyways, on to the part about the case key. So he walks into this room, 
And as you can see, there's a pistol case on the couch. Now, when he picks up the pistol case, he looks at it, and it's locked. See the lock icon on it? So he has to take the key to unlock it. Now, we don't have this in the game at the moment. We can open doors, and there's some safes that are locked, but we don't have pistol cases that are locked. I think this would just be really cool. It's another lockable feature, which is just awesome. Another uh, lockable thing that's coming are key cards. There's going to be Terra Group loot stashes. These are going to be, like, the really good loot on the map. They're, they're not going to be, like... They're going to be way more than like a room. Like, a, like you know how some of the apartment rooms are like, they're just packing heat, right? Well, this is going to actually go with the lore. The terror group is like, they're like the big boss around town and they have all the goodies. So you're going to loot their stash with these key cards and that's how you're going to get some of the best loot in the game, I would assume. Another cool thing is that we're actually going to be able to use the multi-tool one day. Other than it just being able to repair your gun inside the raid and stuff like that, it's going to be used to lockpick doors. Now, this is awesome. Um, just look at the animation. He, like, flips it out all cool. It's very cartoony, kind of, but it, it just looks cool. Instead of using a key, you know, you'll have the option to lockpick some, like, low-tier, mid-tier doors, I would assume, you know. You're not going to show up to Bank of America with a multi-tool and be demanding all the money. I'm sure there'll be some rooms which aren't lockpickable, if that makes sense, like the marked room. That's probably the best room in the game. But yeah, I'm sure there'll be some balancing to lockpicking doors. Anyways, onto this screenshot. And the reason I'm showing you screenshots is because most of the features they show, they showed for like a second or two, if that makes sense. They were very fast, so I figured I would pause them and talk over them. But in this clip, he's holding a flashlight above his head. Now, we, we don't have the ability to even hold a flashlight. The only way to put a flashlight, or to use a flashlight, is to put it on your gun and then turn it on. But as you can see, he's got it like at shoulder height right there and onto the next clip to give you some more backstory i think this is what that animation is leading to um as you can see he's holding the pistol over the flashlight which is a very common way to you know hold a gun like that if you were in an indoor area a lot of militaries use this method and i just think it's pretty cool i've seen it was in call of duty sorry to reference call of duty but i know modern warfare 2 had this maybe even modern warfare 4 pretty sure it did modern, modern warfare 4 call of duty 4 Sorry, but uh, here's a little clip of him walking around with it. It looks pretty cool. You know, I guess there's no difference really if it was on your gun or not, but it just looks cool, right? And on to the medical animations. Now, this is probably the thing I'm most excited for as healing in the game at the moment is very, very unrealistic. You kind of just drag and drop onto yourself. It's not intended. It's just a placeholder at the moment until these animations are optimized and finished because that was a year ago when the, that footage was released, and it's like... Can we get these already? We really need them. So I'm sure there's just some problems with the uh, optimization of them. And onto this screenshot. This was about a three-second clip in the video. That's why it's paused. But as you can tell, that's a ladder. Yes, ladders are going to be climbable. I would assume they are all going to be climbable if they look climbable. There might be some that are blocked off for balance and stuff like that. But I'm sure it'll take some balancing out. Maybe you won't be able to climb up the radio tower. But that would be really cool if you could. Because you can do that in real life. So I don't know why you wouldn't be able to do it in the game. I don't like it when game devs kind of pussy out on features. It's like, you know, just let people abuse it and let those who don't know about the spot die to the advantage the other player has. But I'm pretty sure in Tarkov, there's just not ladders because the animations aren't finished yet, much like a lot of the features. It's not a question of if, it's more of a question as to when. The game's in early development, you got to give it time. Anyways, on to the next part, which is going to be about Streets of Tarkov. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the next map we are getting. Um, in the life cycle of the game. I don't think every map is going to be released before full release of the game, but Streets of Tarkov is on the list as the next map, I'm pretty sure. It's the only map at the moment that we have screenshots of other than, um, what's it called? It's called Terminal. I had to do some Googling there, but I'm pretty sure this is a screenshot of the shipping terminal that we're getting. It's not an airport terminal. It's a shipping terminal because there's a cruise ship or a cargo ship in the background there. And this doesn't look like any of the other maps we have at the moment, so I'm pinpointing this screenshot to Terminal. Haven't seen anyone else post this screenshot any anywhere, so, you know, you heard it here first. Unless you paused Battle State's video when they showed this clip for one second. Anyways, on to more cool screenshots that they showed for one second. This screenshot, I have no idea what the hell this is. Um, it looks like a bar. In the background, I see... Uh, AK something with an Alton helmet, also a motorcycle. I don't know if we're getting motorcycles, but, you know... That'd be cool. 
I don't know what map this is. Um, maybe it's part of the suburbs map, if I had to guess, maybe. That's going to be another cool map. But uh, yeah, I really think Streets of Tarkov is the next map we're going to be getting, as I heard Clean say that, and it's the only map that we have a ton of screenshots of. And if you're wondering why they look like they have high contrast, I added some contrast to the screenshots because they were just very grainy and desaturated, and I wanted to show you what they would actually look like. They look really bad. But yeah, the Streets of Tarkov map is going to be incredibly detailed. Um, as you can see here, they're doing like some 3D modeling of the building. It seems like every floor is going to be accessible to a certain extent. The map really seems to have that Sane Crossing vibe from Battlefield 3, if you guys have played that map. It just really feels like that from looking at the screenshots. Kind of hard to tell, though, as most of the buildings aren't finished. A lot of the windows are kind of blank and stuff like that, but... You know, Streets of Tarkov is definitely going to be probably one of everyone's favorite maps. I have a lot of hype for the suburbs map. That sounds very interesting. A, a cool the Russian neighborhood to walk around. That'd be awesome. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I spent about two hours watching all of Battle States videos, and I was just kind of picking out my favorite stuff I could find. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully Battle State's okay with me basically stealing all their footage to a certain extent and talking over it, but I... I'm leaving a good review on the game, so hopefully they don't get too mad. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you want a little joke, these are the system requirements to run Shoreline. You just need two 1080s, 64 gigs of RAM, and i9, and you'll be getting maybe 60 FPS. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you did not like it. And subscribe if you want to see more stolen videos. I'm kidding. Link will be in the description to their channel.